Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our review of the Tinko Pure One S11 cordless vacuum. It's one of Tinko's best selling cordless vacuums and it has a lot of good specs and features for the price. We bought one and put it through all kinds of tests this week and in this video I'll go over all the pros and cons. So links in the description and let's get started. First, the basics. The Tenko Pure One S11 comes in two package options, the S11 Gray version and the S11 Tango version. And besides the Tango version being about 13% more expensive, the primary difference is that it comes with a soft roller attachment where the Gray version doesn't, making it a much better option if you have a lot of hard floors, as we'll see later. Starting off with the pros, both the Gray and Tango versions come with a standard vacuum head, which is extremely good with carpet pickup. In the pickup tests we did, I was surprised to see it able to pick up all the types and sizes of debris we threw at it with no problems, definitely above average with picking stuff up off the surfaces of carpets. It was also well above average with deep cleaning carpets, which we test by embedding sand into medium pile carpet and weighing the bin before and after a set amount of passes on max power, where, as I said, it was well above average. This was in part due to its power. It has a 130 watt motor, which we found to have a good amount of airflow at the base and a lot more suction than normal. The sealed suction at the base was above average and the unsealed suction at the head was almost double the average score. This power in combination with a fairly low to the ground floor head meant that it was good with crevices too. The weight of the handle is about average, but much less than the average Dyson's handle. I also prefer its more compact design, which makes it easier to use as a handheld vacuum than most Dyson's. And it does come with a lot of high quality attachments, including a very effective power powered turbo brush for upholstery cleaning, a dusting brush combo tool that's actually pretty good for dusting things, a crevice tool, a unique filter cleaning attachment, and a wall mount. One big pro is the eye loop sensor. It has an internal dirt sensor which detects particles and then uses that information to adjust the suction power up or down depending on how dirty the floors are and it displays the suction power amount on the colored light loop on the screen. The primary benefit of this is to make its battery life more efficient, which it really does if you keep it in auto mode, which I also recommend, but it does have a button to lock it into max power mode as well. The battery life itself is about average. Tinko says it can get about 40 minutes of runtime on auto mode. We tested it on its max power setting and it got about 10 and a half minutes, which for comparison is a bit more than the Dyson V11 or V12 on max power. The S11 was one of the quietest cordless vacuums I've tested with the decibel meter, both in its auto mode and max power mode. It's got LED lights on the floor head, which I like a lot, and a fairly large, easy to empty bin that you can empty without having to remove the wand. The next few things aren't really pros or cons, but just kind of neutral. It has a four-staged HEPA filtration system, which was certainly way better than most cordless vacuums we've tested, but there was some slight visible fog in our tests, so better than average but not perfect. It has an app, which is cool, and Tinko is one of the only cordless vacuum companies I know of that have an app, but I find the features to be just minimally useful. The main thing I didn't like is only a factor with the gray version of the Pure One S11, not the Tango, but it's that the regular floor head that comes with both of them is pretty bad for hard floors. I mentioned before that the floor head is low to the ground, but it also has very small front gates, which makes it unable to pick up almost anything of significant size on hard floors. With fine debris, it's okay, but anything above that, it's pretty useless. Now the soft roller that the Tango version comes with is the exact opposite. It's literally one of the best tools out there for hard floor pickup, picking up everything from super fine debris to extra large debris. So if you have hard floors, the Tango package is a must in my opinion. This one may be a little nitpicky, but although I like the smoothness of the swivel on the standard floor head, it does require a lot more wrist movement than I'm used to making. For example, it takes almost a full wrist turn to make a quarter turn on the floor head. Overall though, if you have mostly carpets, I think that the Tinko Floor One S11 Gray is an extremely good vacuum with a huge amount of suction power, lots of very useful tools, and all the latest features to give you the maximum battery efficiency. But if you have a lot of hard floors, I would strongly encourage you to spend the few extra bucks for the Tango version with a soft roller attachment. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.